Happy Friday, beautiful people. Thank you guys all for being here and tuning into another one of my videos. If you saw the handle, today we're going to be reviewing or going over my uh, Louis Vuitton vintage pieces, uh, which are honestly my favorite pieces out of my entire collection. So thank you guys so much for being here. Next week, I uh, will be showing you my newer purchases. As you can see, a lot of my shelving is empty because I do have quite a lot of vintage pieces. Um, which is honestly what I love, what I prefer. Like I said, my favorite pieces out of my entire collection are vintage pieces. Um, so without further ado, let's start this video because I don't want it to make it like an hour video. So I'm really just going to go over the bag really quickly, um, where I got it, why I got it, why I love it, the name of the bag, and that's pretty much it. I'm not going to go into too much detail just for the sake of time um, for this video because uh, I do have to go through quite a few bags all right so let's uh, start with and it's not going to go in any particular order it's just gonna be whatever my hand grabs first um so my first piece is my vintage from the late um or early 2000s my 45 keepel and this is a bandolier so i use this literally every time i go out of town if i go on, out on a three-day weekend i take this baby with me um so this is where all my stuff really goes and i love it i use it non-stop um every time we go on you know a three-day trip or just to la or just anywhere i've taken it as a carry-on i love that piece and that's what made me um get this next piece as well and this is <laughs> my key pal 55 also in the bandolier kylie and kendall I named them <laughs> uh, with the K's. So this one I use as well. And this one, literally, my husband's been using it a lot more. Um, so he uses this one. Even though it's my bag and I should use it more, I, I tell him that I need to get him the one with the black trimming or just the Eclipse version. Um, he would love that. So I, I might surprise him one day with that bag. Um, just for traveling when we go on a, you know, anywhere three-day trip out of the country that's always good to have and honestly like they fit so much it's like a well technically it's a giant speedy but it fits quite a lot the next item as you know i love speedies so this one is gonna be my vintage epi noir speedy uh in the 25 and it's all epi leather has the beautiful lv embossing on the side and don't mind my nails i just took them off because um I hate when they're outgrown, so I'm going to go get them done this weekend for some Halloween theme nails, and I um, keep this little cute bandeau on it. This is my first bandeau that I got, and after that, I just started having an obsession with bandeaus, so I love this bag. It's an all-weather bag. I got this pre-loved. This is from also like the late 90s, and it literally looks brand new, and I got it. I got such a good deal on this bag. I, I love my speedies. I'm a speedy girl. Top handle for sure. And then my next bag is a bag that I love. My little Lolita. I just used her the other day. I don't use her all that often and I should. I love this bag. I use her for work. Um, it is the Luco Tote and it does have a zipper on the top and it fits literally a lot if it's your laptop um i have it stuffed with air paper right now and the um dust bag that it i keep it in because i do keep it in a dust bag but it's a beautiful and i keep a luggage tag with my initials and a little heart and i love this bag i get so many compliments when i wear it and i should wear her more often because she's such good quality like the canvas on this bag is just so nice and again i got her pre-loved i don't think they make this bag anymore uh, i got her before i got my never fools and i really wanted to try out a tote kind of handbag just to see if i liked it and i love love totes as well but i'm more of a top handle kind of girl um but this bag is just definitely a work horse like Whenever I don't feel like using my Neverfull, I'm tired of seeing it all the time on me, like I'll just switch out into this and everything that I need for work fits into this bag. My next one is another tote. 
I literally am swimming in LVs right now. If you can see like my pile right here. Uh, this one is my first or second Vernie piece that I received that I bought myself. I actually got this at Fashion File and it's such good quality. I just literally used her the other day for date night because I don't, this is one of my least used bags. I really don't use her. I think I've used her maybe twice of that since I, I got her. And I should use her more often. I really wanted a Fernie piece in the Amaranta color, if I'm saying that correctly, basically the dark cherry color. But it's such a beautiful bag. Yes, you can see all like your fingerprints, but if you wipe it down, it's such a good bag. And then I treated the leather with um, some, uh, what do you call it? Some uh, Apple Guard spray, so I don't get any like watermarks on the vaquetta, but. I can take it like in the rain and I can just wipe it off and it should be fine. But this is another bag that I love and I love that it comes also with a zipper. It's that those chunky zippers that they used to have in the early 2000s. This one's not quite vintage yet, um, but I just include her in this because I did get her pre-loved. My next bag, which is my second favorite bag out of my entire collection, I still, when I look at her, I can't believe that I have her in my collection just because I've wanted this bag ever since I can remember, since I was in high school, I really wanted this bag. And it is gonna be my Cerise Speedy 25, and I have her with a Swarovski Crystal Cherry Charm. I love this bag, it is so beautiful. I attach like a crossbody strap to it. I, even though you're really not supposed to do that to the ones that are like top handles, but um because it can like strain the handle right here but i still use that like i still use that like that sometimes i'll wear it cross body top handle but i just love this bag so i think i'm gonna rock her this weekend i absolutely love her and i got her on fashion file and uh, this was my first fashion file purchase actually and the vaquetta was like like really bad so i got the whole complete vaquetta replacement on it that's why it, it looks so light so all the Vaqueta got replaced on this bag and it just looks like a brand new um, Speedy. It's from the early, it's from 2003, I believe, or 2005, one of those. It's the Takashi Murakami collection, but I love this bag. It is just dreamy, dreamy. Love her. So that's that one. And my next bag that I don't use at all, like this is one, probably one of my top, least used bags but I need to use her more often as well is my Papillon 30 and this one is also vintage I got this one on eBay I believe and but it's in really good condition it also came with the mini Papillon that I used as an SLG in my handbags I keep like my pens in there and chargers um, but this bag is beautiful really really beautiful honey patina color all around and I wanted this bag in high school. The cool girls in high school had it. And back then I couldn't afford Louis Vuitton. Um, so I, I decided to get her and I got such a good deal for this bag as well. And this is my Papillon 30 and the monogram. And it does come in um, Damier uh, Ben, but I just love the monogram version of that. The next tote that I got, it was actually my first tote from Louis Vuitton that I bought pre-loved on eBay in my Babylon 30. I love love this bag when I got it because I wanted a, you know, a tote and I wanted a zipper. I got this one before I got my Luco tote and I have a little luggage tag. If you know, I love luggage tags. I use them as purse accessories. And uh, this bag is in really good condition as well. Like all the piping is really good, all the, um, the piping, the leather, except for the inside, there's a little bit of stickiness to it. So I don't know. And I honestly haven't used this bag in over a year. Um, right there, you can see it's a little bit of stickiness. But other than that, it's pretty clean. Has lots for your pen. And I, I just really like this bag, but I don't know if... I'm gonna use her because I have like my Neverfulls now and I have my Luca tote, so I really don't grab her all that often. I'm trying to see the date code for this bag. 
Um, okay, so it was a 96. So she, for her age, she's a made in France piece. She's very well kept. So I don't, I'm still debating if I want to sell her, but every time I tell my husband like I want to sell her, just to put the money towards something else, you know, something newer that I will use. He's like, no, it's in your collection. Just keep it. So he always convinces me to keep my bag. So I don't know if I'll eventually sell her or not. But that's the only bag that I have in my collection that I, when I see it and I don't use it, not that I don't like it, is that, that I want to sell it. Because I feel like someone else can show that bag love, you know, um, since I don't use her. And it's just unfortunate because it's a beautiful bag. The next bag is my second Bernie piece that I got. And this is going to be my Roxbury Drive. And this is also a tough handle and it comes with a shoulder strap, the Keta shoulder strap. And it is in the violet color and it's such a beautiful purple. Uh, this, the lighting's like not making it justice, but it is such a beautiful purple. And it's like a shimmery purple, like a glittery purple. And I love the color of this bag, love it. And I also, I pretty much all my Vaquetta pieces, ha I have sprayed the apple guard on them, even though they're a little bit patina, so they don't continue to get any like water stains or anything like that. But I love her and I have a little cute faux fur little purple palm that goes perfectly with it. I just actually rocked her two weeks ago and I love this bag. I get so many compliments when I wear her because it's so unique. I've never seen another bag like this out where I live, so I, I love having unique pieces in my collection. The next item is going to be my Neo Speedy denim and denim, and I also got this pre loved This is a uh, 2006 piece, so it's not quite vintage yet, um, but I did include it in this collection just because I got it pre loved and the vaquetta on this as well is beautiful, very light actually. Uh, a few water stains and I again treated it so I, I don't continue to stain it. I mean, it doesn't stop the patina process, but I won't get any additional like water stains on it. it. Has a few water stains. They're not showing up on camera, but they're very faint. And I love this bag, like if I'm wearing jeans and a t-shirt, some sandals, something very simple, casual. I'll rock this bag whenever I'm wearing like a denim shirt or just denim. Um, I liked rocking this bag because it's again so unique. Another very unique piece and I love the interior of this bag. It is a very like mustard color. I'll show you. The interior of this bag just does it for me. I love mustard. It's one of my favorite colors because um, it reminds me of like Harry Potter <laughs> and I'm a Potterhead. And um, I just love this bag. Like seeing the interior, like that suede um, mustard color just makes me happy. So I love, love rocking her as well. And then my first um, crossbody bag from the brand that I got pre loved. I got such a good deal on this bag. It is my Junie Phil. I hope I'm saying that correctly. And this is a crossbody handbag and the leather on this one is the one that I was saying that feels like it has like a coat on top like I know this is kind of gross but if I lick it and I put my finger on there it's like it slightly changes but watch like towards the front see like see the camera's picking it up a little bit it I feel like there's like a film or um uh, you know some kind of protectant on there because the leather is so nice and um, for its age, it's just such a beautiful bag. It has a zipper on the top and it has a pocket on the back, which I love. I love this bag. I've taken her to like Halloween Horror Nights and um, Universal Studios, Disneyland. Like I love this bag, love, love, love her. And I got her for like under $200, I think. It was such a steal and I'm so happy I got her in my collection. I got her about two years ago on eBay as well. I love eBay. Uh, for pre-loved items and yeah this is my first bag that I got before I was able to get my um, Pochette Matisse's this one was my bag that I rocked 
as a crossbody and I still use her. Crossbody, shoulder bag, love her. My little jean. Um, my next bag is gonna be another, not quite vintage yet because it's from 2006, my Trueville and the multicolored noir and I love this bag. Uh, this is another bag that I was thinking of selling and I get so many compliments when I rock her and my husband's like, you're crazy, do not sell that bag. Um, and uh, because I wasn't really using her, I will tell you why when I show you my next bag. But um, I do use her and now I started using her a little bit more and like all my essentials do fit in here. So it's not like it's a super small bag, it literally fits a lot. Uh, it fits everything that a Speedy 25 would fit. And I love that it has all my favorite colors. Like you, if you saw my uh, review on this bag, it has the purple, the pink, the green. I love her. Love, 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 love this bag. And I got her for such a steal. And I keep a little luggage tag with Lex and a green heart um, on her. And this is my Trouville Multicolor in the Noir. And the reason why I didn't use her all that often is because after I got I got this bag, this is all I used when I wanted to use a black multicolor bag. And this is my black uh, multicolor um, Speedy Noir. And this is also not quite vintage yet, but I did get her pre-loved and I love this bag. I keep her with a purple little faux um, fur ball. And I need to get the clochette actually hot stamped. I'm gonna go to the LV store to visit my girl Angela this weekend. So I will take that in to get it hot stamped probably with something in the color purple. And this one has the purple LVs, which I love. It has the pink and the green right there so it has all my favorite colors in the front and I love this bag it is such a heavy bag heavy duty bag you know you can just feel the quality in this canvas it's just so stunning and I get so many compliments when I wear her because again she's rare I don't think I've ever seen anybody else with this bag in my area and I love her and that's one this is one of the bags this one and this one the two bags that make me fall in love with Louis Vuitton to begin with. What started this whole cra Louis Vuitton craze, if you would say. My next bag is my favorite bag out of my entire collection. If I could only keep one bag in my entire collection, it would be this baby. Just because it has so much sentimental value for me, you know. I've always wanted this bag. It's a classic, and this is the classic Speedy. 30 and what makes this bag so special is that she is my birth year bag 1998 speedy and i love her i love i got her um pre-loved as well and i got the i have all the vaquetta comp uh replaced at the louis vuitton store so complete vaquetta replacement and then i have my luggage tag with my initials and then an 88 in the back to remind me that she's an 88 baby this bag and myself literally are the same age, same, same month, same year, everything. I love her. And uh, if I could only keep one bag, it would be this one. I will have this bag hopefully forever. Um, pass it down to my daughters and granddaughters from there. Like I want this bag in the family forever. I love her so much and I really don't use her because it's just like, so sentimental you know I don't want anything to happen to her and it looks like a brand new speedy but no one would know it's from 1988 just looking at her makes me like oh, like I've wanted a birth year bag for such a long time and to find a speedy which is my favorite style of Louis Vuitton in my birth year by birth month to the T like just there's no words no words the next bag I got is another pre-loved baby and it's also vintage and it is the Louis Vuitton Speedy 30 and the Epi and the Borneo Green 
and I love this bag like for St. Patrick's Day this baby is gonna be going out for sure like I even have the four leaf clover little charm I just love her it's, she's in such good condition and I got such a good deal on her like I, I've been I was on the hunt for this bag for a while and I all the bags have like scuffs on the side and this one literally looks brand new like whoever had this bag before me probably only used it a few times like a handful of times so she stays in her dust bag to stay nice and pristine how she is but I love her I love the green it's my only green bag that I have and I absolutely love the color green so it's my other baby and you can never go wrong with speedy in my opinion I know some people have like different opinions on the speedies but i personally love a louis vuitton speedy classic you can that will never go out of style it was in style in the 1930s 1980s 90s 2000s now it will be in style in 50 years 100 years like it's gonna be in style forever um the next item i have is my speedy and uh, the multicolor speedy and the blanc speedy 30 again she's not quite vintage yet but i did get her pre-loved and i love her as well i've been saying love a lot of times in this video but i really do like love my bags like when i'm having a bad day and i've mentioned this on here before or i'm sad or just whatever it is that i'm not feeling myself i'll come in here and i'll look at my bags and i feel a thousand times better like it will just be like a pick me up for me you know like to see my collection and to just admire these bags to be able to have them i just i know it's just like materialistic things but or material things but if you're a purse lover you'll understand we love our babies and i do baby my bags like well i don't baby all of them but i do take care of them like i don't place them on the floor because again it's bad luck well i think it's bad luck and this bag has again all the favorite colors that i love in a bag purple green black just beautiful it has multiple purple like purple this is actually blue green pink all the colors that i wanted in the front of my multicolor speedies both of my speedies have and my little uh lucoto or not lucoto um my Truville. I love this bag and I hardly use her. I should use her more often, but I only use her like during the summer or spring. I feel like she's like a very spring kind of handbag and very loud <laughs> in the white. Um, so I, I don't use her all that often, but I, I should use her more. She just stays looking pretty in my little collect collection area with her dust bag. I'm running out of room. And then my next item is this baby, formerly known as the Louis Vuitton Duville. And it just got relaunched recently as the Louis Vuitton uh, Bowling Vanity, which is so funny. They just literally, it's literally the same bag. They just changed the name and I think increased the price. It's like $1,700. And I got this bag for probably like under four and i got the vaquetta replaced as well the handles uh, the only reason is because one of the handles was like had a little small tear so i got the uh this part of the vaquetta replaced the handles and so for the back but the piping and the trim right here stayed the same but if uh right now in, the, in this light you can tell a little bit of a difference but if you see it in person you there there is literally no difference in the color because i did uh, treat it to match that color but I love this bag it literally is such an underrated bag I feel like I should see more of this bag because it's such a good bag like if you could feel the quality of this canvas right now it is so sturdy so thick and this is like a traveling bag a lot of people use it uh, you can add straps it has that the um, hardware so you can add a like shoulder strap or a, stra a crossbody strap but I should see her more often. This bag is so beautiful, classic, what Louis Vuitton is known for, like a, a classic piece and in such good quality. And uh, I don't know, I don't know why people don't 
by her, but I love her. I get so many compliments on her and get it because it's so different. And it is my Louis Vuitton Duville, now known as the LV Bowling Vanity, which is such a funny name. Like, who takes their bags bowling? Well, I mean, I guess you could, but really. Um... The next piece I have in my only backpack in my collection, because like I mentioned here before, I am not a backpack kind of girl. Uh, my Monstery in the MM. And this is the older model, vintage from like early 2000s. And I got her pre-loved online as well on eBay. And I love this bag. It's in such good condition. The Vaquetta is so clean. It has like a few water stains but no nothing like just really dark or that you can really see and um i need to use her again more often i don't really use her all that much just because i don't feel like she goes with a lot of my outfits like i'll take her like if i'm wearing something super casual then i'll use her but i don't really use her all that much but i should my only backpack in my collection and she's super comfortable very cute fits a lot I don't mind that you have to buckle and unbuckle that to get into it. It's a beautiful handbag, nevertheless. So this is my Monstery um, MM. And the Mono. My next piece, and this is actually my second piece in my collection that I am thinking about selling. And this is the Bucket Bag PM and the... Um, monogram i don't really use her in the interior you can tell when i'm such a i got such a good deal on this bag and the interior is beautiful like i feel like whoever had this bag before we did the interior because if you know a lot of these bags have like that stickiness um they're known for that like the bucket bags but this one got redone i feel like and it is just such a beautiful bag but i don't use her all that often because she's kind of small so i have i feel like i'm playing tetrix or tetras uh, when I'm using this bag, like, I have to make sure that I put my items in my bag, you know, like, standing up, or it's not just easy to, like, throw stuff in there. It I have to, like, put stuff in there so other stuff can fit and so forth, like playing Tetris. <laughs> and um, and I actually got that from uh, Minx for All. She, she, was, uh, she posted her her ama bb and she's like oh totally playing playing tetris with this bag and that i have never thought of it like that but it literally is just like that you have to str strategically put your items in your bag so that they fit in your bag you know i love my ama bb but it's kind of a hassle sometimes um especially if you carry a little bit more stuff you have to downsize but yeah this is another bag that i i don't know if i should keep because i don't you really use her all that often but She's beautiful, nevertheless. My bucket, bucket PM and the monogram. And if you ask my husband, he would be like, "No, keep it." He wants me to keep everything. He, he's so funny. And then my last vernis piece. It is my Houston and the Grease, which is the gray. And I love this bag. It's so different and unique. Again, another bag that I don't see all that often. And I hate how it has that like crease. I need to stuff it a little bit better. Um, and I keep her with a faux fur little palm in gray. And I have her um, with a luggage tag as well in silver. My initials and a black little heart. And I love this bag. It has a zipper on the top. And it is all vernis on the bottom. I wish I had feet, but it doesn't. But these bags are known to get discolored. Um, like this one has a hint, hint of like, I don't know, like maybe like dark, dark gray or like, like green, if that makes any sense right here. But only I can see that. That's the only part of the bag that I feel like it's discolored. And again, um, I've treated it with an apple guard, so it just shouldn't get any more water stains. Um, but it's again, a beautiful bag that I use when I'm wearing like obviously gray or blacks um very pretty very very pretty my louis vuitton vernis houston and we're almost getting to the end guys i promise we're almost done 
<laughs> the next bag that I love that I recently showed you guys um, is my bucket or not my uh, what is this my uh, petite noe Jesus all these names my petite noe and the monogram and I got her a complete vaquetta replacement and she looks like a brand new bag like she's so beautiful and I actually took the original strap off it's inside the bag and I got this on Etsy from M Leather Craft and it is a top handle strap so I can use her top handle because I love this bag top handle it's so beautiful like you can use it on your shoulder you can use it cross body you can use the top handle and then I got this other um, little like strap holder from Etsy as well and it is actual authentic canvas and they make like this little piece because that's the one thing that I hated about this bag was doing the little knot I hate it was so inconvenient for me even the little knot when I had the knot like I felt like it was hard to get in my bag so I didn't use her for that reason but now that I have this and I have this on my monster as well I feel like it's so much easier to get in the bag and I just use her so much more and I love this bag like how beautiful it is gorgeous I love her so this is my other one my petite no way and this is the classic the first petite no way now they have the one with the vaquetta around and it's a little bit bigger and then they have the petite no way GM um, or the no way GM and that one's just too big for me personally I love love her in the petite version and there is nothing petite about her she fits so much stuff in here it's like so much stuff everything that I carry in my speedy 30 and 35s fits in this baby and then next I have my project handbag I got this bag in um, pre left as well she's from the uh, late 90s early 2000s and it is my Alma PM in the monogram. And I wanted to get her specifically for, to dye her. So I wanted to dye the leather black. And she came out so beautiful. Like, I mean, there's a little, little, you know, scratches here and there. But I, I can always go back and retouch her up. And I keep her with a Epi leather luggage tag with my initials. But she came so out so beautiful, and it was. I watched. I want to say like 20 videos on YouTube on how to dye vaquetta on handbags, and I did it in one sitting. I think it took me like five hours um, to dye uh, dye her. But she came out so so nice, and I love her because she's so different. Like I wish Louis Vuitton came out with, you know, an Alma PM or a Speedy and just the black. I know they have the world tour which i do have as well but i want i have the one with no stickers and i want now one with stickers oh my god first world problems right and uh, so this is her my alma pm that i custom dyed her she came out beautiful i think and it, she comes with the strap the shoulder strap and i also dyed that as well so I can use her um, on my shoulder. Here's a strap that I dyed as well. Um, I don't know, I just love this bag. And it's a vintage bag with better canvas, in my opinion. That just looks awesome. My next one is my only red handbag in my whole collection, and I love her. I get so many compliments on her. And this is my Riviera. Louis Vuitton Riviera and also again I got her pre-loved they don't make this bag anymore so you have to get it pre-loved and I love her before I got my green speedy I was thinking of getting a green speedy in this type of style in the Riviera because she is just such a boss bag like when I wear checkered a checkered shirt that I have with black slacks and like pumps I rock this bag and I just look like such a badass I love love my red Riviera. It's just my only red bag that I have and I really wanted a red Louis Vuitton and I didn't know which one I didn't know if I wanted a speedy which was my original thought but I was like you know what I don't have this style in my collection and I'm so glad I got this one because it's top handle big and it fits everything it's like a boss bag yeah that's exactly what I think of it like if I feel like 
such a boss lady in this bag. And I keep her stuffed with air paper. She has four pockets. So that's for your pens. I just love her. She doesn't have a D ring. Um, but I just, and she literally looks brand new. I got such a good deal on this bag and for such good condition of a bag. Beautiful, beautiful bag. My Epi Leather uh, Riviera in the red. Gorgeous. And it came with a little luggage tag as well that I don't know if I mentioned. I engraved my initials and a little heart or my nickname and a little heart. And I love the little LV detail. It's like so subtle, you know, like you have to know like the brand a little bit to know that this is an LV bag. It's not as in your face as the monogram. And my last vintage piece that I got that I showed you guys in a video, it is my S'more 30. And I love this bag. I, I got again such a good deal and I got it on eBay as well. And this bag is going to be another little project bag. I'm going to take it tomorrow actually to get a uh, complete Vaqueta replacement on it. Just because I, I mean, I like it like this. Don't get me wrong. I like the style, how it looks like vintage. But I want it new. <laughs> I want the Vaqueta replace. I'm taking it tomorrow with my girl Angela to get complete Vaqueta replacement on this baby. And I will show you guys when she comes back from the spa, as I call it, after getting her little facelift. Um, she's going to look like a brand new piece, but with amazing quality canvas, which I love. And that's why I love my vintage pieces, honestly, to be completely honest with you, because I feel like they used to make them so much better before. Like, what happened, Louis Vuitton? Like, now I don't want to say they feel plasticky, but kind of does. So that's why I love, love, love me vintage pieces, but I also love the new ones as well, the limited edition styles. <laughs> so that's my last um, vintage piece. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any amazing content. Like this video if I didn't do too much rambling and you enjoyed all the pieces that I showcased here today. And I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your Friday, an amazing weekend ahead. And guys, we've made it. It is finally Friday. I will see you guys next week. Thank you. Bye.